Hey, what's going on guys? Ryan Weber with Ryan Weber Training. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about a few ways that you can raise your testosterone levels naturally without breaking the bank, the budget, even if you have no budget. We'll see you in a second. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Awesome, right? Okay, here we go. Guys, you're gonna love this episode. This is something I get asked all the freaking time. So, let's jump right in and get to it. How can I raise my testosterone levels naturally without spending a whole bunch of money on the expensive monthly requirement purchase of a testosterone enhancing supplement? Gee, I don't know. Can it be true? Yes, it can. So one of the things I wanna to talk to you guys about first is the actual testosterone boosting supplements that you see on the market all the time. Cause that's one of the first things guys will ask me. They'll say, hey Ryan, check this out, man. I, um, I got this testosterone supplement and I wanna show it to you. Let me know if this is gonna work or not. So I need to answer that question a couple of different ways. Number one, when it comes to supplements, the first thing I can tell you is that every single body, every single person's chemistry is gonna be a little bit different. Okay, we're alike, we're alike in a lot more ways than we're not alike, but, because of the body chemistry is a little bit different, things are gonna work differently for different people. Some people may have too much of something, some people may have a deficiency in something, some people might just simply not respond. Some people might be taking something else that's gonna interact with what they're you know, taking or want to take. There's so many different factors that go into this. So I just wanna let you guys know that what works for one person may not work as well or even at all for the next person or sometimes it might even work better. It's just totally up in the air, there's too many factors we don't know. The next thing I wanna tell you is that when it comes to these supplements, what I see a lot of the times is yes, there are definitely Definitely some herbs and vitamins and minerals and things in these supplements that I know will support you in raising or freeing up testosterone. However, they don't always put the max uh, dosages that are recommended dosages in these products. So for instance, something that's maybe had a clinical trial or study done, something that's been peer reviewed, which means reviewed by other experts outside of the lab where they actually did the experiment, you know, what they say, okay, yes, this would work if you take this much for this period of time. A lot of the times I see these, you know, supplement companies shorting the dosages and shorting the amount. Why do they do that? I don't know. Is it to save money? Maybe. Um, did they just mess up in their study and mix up their information? I don't know. Could be. But I just know that it's not always the right dosages or enough. So you could take it. It still might do something for you, but it might not necessarily be, you know, all it's cracked up to be. A lot of the times when I do find some of these supplements, I'll tell people, okay, look, some of these ingredients are really good, but if I were you, I'd go buy them individually. Here's how much you have to take and also take it with this. And everything's gonna kind of work, you know, with each other to give you the best result. And if it doesn't work, okay, cool, then go out and try this. You know, there's different combinations and cocktails and, you know, sequences of things you can try. And you may have to try several different things before you actually get something that's gonna work right for you. So with that being said, I just wanted you guys to know that's just how the supplement industry is sometimes. I do think supplements are a good thing. There's a lot of companies that make good supplements, but they're not always what they're cracked up to be, especially if you do not know what you're looking for. If you go to RyanWeber.com, com and check out my alpha mass program i go into very uh deep deep detail about naturally increasing your testosterone production and output muscle building and burning fat uh, unlike anything else that i've seen out there and i keep on adding to it so it's only getting better and better but i want to check that out so for today guys what are some things you can do naturally right now without a budget first thing is going to be is cleanse your liver that's right clean your liver clean that baby up <laughs> so why do i say cleanse your liver if you didn't know, the liver is involved in so many different hormone processes in the body. So let's think about this. If we're putting garbage food in our system, if we're going out and partying and drinking alcohol, if we're you know, eating our food out of plastic, you know, these are all things that sometimes, yes, I'm guilty of doing as well, so I'm not judging. Uh, if we're bringing in or taking in contaminants in our body, you know, pesticides from foods and fruits or chemicals from whatever we're eating, you know, who knows? 
All these things your body has to work to clean and filter out. Now your body is an amazing machine. It does this and it does this regularly. It does this very well. But if your body is processed, I'm sorry, if your body is focusing on processing and cleaning itself out, it's going to take away from the process of hormone production. So if your liver is constantly working to clean other things out of your diet, out of your system, then it's not going to be as optimized to be focusing on hormone production. So example is testosterone. So how do we fix that? Well, we fix it by number one, changing our diet and how we eat. We got to eat a little bit smarter. Okay. Again, no judgment, but we want to also make sure that we cleanse our liver. How can we clean our liver? A couple different things. Go to amazon.com, type in MSM or organic sulfur or non-GMO sulfur crystals. Something will pop up. There's going to be some pretty expensive ones. Keep on looking right now at the time I'm making this video. I think Dr's Best is the brand. They're the cheapest. It's about six to eight dollars. Get a tub of that, okay? There's like 60 servings per container. Then go over and get some buffered vitamin C. Buffered vitamin C is a little bit less acidic. You want to take 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C to each teaspoon of these sulfur crystals, and that is going to work wonders for cleansing and detoxifying your liver. It's also going to be great for your skin, for your hair, for your teeth, for your nails, for um, anti-inflammatory, for digestion, for so many things. Your body craves sulfur. Who knew? Guys, it can taste disgusting. The more disgusting it tastes, probably the more you need it. I've been doing it for a while. I have to say it's really not that bad anymore. The best time, the best way to take it is do it first thing in the morning. So you got your one teaspoon of the sulfur, a thousand milligrams of the buffered vitamin C, and then mix the sulfur in warm water. I've got a little uh, hot and cold water thing. I put in the hot water, let the sulfur dissolve, mix it around, add some cold water, make sure it's lukewarm, and that's how I drink it. I drink it just like I drink a tea with my vitamin C. Boom, done. What else can we do? Well, you also can try doing lemon water. Lemon water is a natural cleanser. It's a natural alkalizer. We'll talk about that in a second. That's also going to be very good for cleaning out your liver. How can we uh, pep that one up a little bit? Let's go into the cabinet and get some cayenne pepper. One fourth of a teaspoon. <laughs> no, one fourth of a teaspoon, not a teaspoon. I uh, gave this advice to somebody and they wrote me back after a couple days saying, Ryan, I love this lemon water and cayenne pepper in the morning. It really, it really seems to be doing the job. But can I ask you a question? Like my sinuses are draining like crazy and I cough for like an hour or two after, after I drink it every morning. You know, why is that? And I wrote back, I'm like, well, how much uh, cayenne pepper are you adding? He goes, you said to add a teaspoon. And I started to laugh. I go, no. <laughs> Oh, a quarter teaspoon, okay? You could add a teaspoon, but what just happened to that person will happen to you. Now, no fault, no judgment. I think it's kind of funny. I've done it before too. Does it work? Yes. Will it hurt you? No. Um, but holy crap, you want to see your sinuses drain and clean some other things out? Woo! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It'll work. So you can do that. The other thing I want to tell you guys when it comes to nutrition in the morning is alkalize your body, okay? So how do you alkalize your body? Anything green, wheatgrass, uh, celery, cucumber, uh, broccoli, kale, spinach, greens powders. The more green food you can put into your body at any time of the day, the better. Disease cannot thrive in an alkaline environment, okay? Disease meaning dis-ease. Not disease like you're sick, although that's really what dis-ease is. Dis-ease is inflammation and discomfort in the body. Something is out of whack, something is out of balance. For all the years that I've been doing this, guys, and it's been a while, this is the one thing that I harp into all of my clients over and over and over again. So a lot of these bodybuilding diets that I see people getting, it's all just you know carbs and protein, minimal vegetables, okay? I'll do the carbs and the protein thing, and you know you don't even have to eat like a bodybuilder. You just have to eat healthier, and that's really what I do for most of the people um, most of the time anyways. But I always add in green powders, lemon water, the sulfur, um, a bunch of green vegetables. I mean, I do these things for people, and I say, listen, this is one of the most important things. This right here is going to enhance the results of everything else that I'm telling you. It will do the same for them, the same for me, and it's definitely going to do the same for you. So make sure you do this, okay? It is so important. Cannot stress that enough. Just do it. The next thing I want to talk about, guys, is um, keeping good posture. Really? Ryan, good posture, that's going to increase my testosterone levels? Yes. Okay, it may not be necessarily groundbreaking. You might not all of a sudden have good posture and walk into the gym one day and go, yeah, good posture, 300-pound bench press. <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. But... Good posture, okay, you 
sit up, stand up straight, you stick your chest out, it's gonna increase your breathing, it's gonna increase your blood flow. These are all important to move nutrients around in the body, to cleanse and detoxify our body, to move you know, the hormone and get the juices flowing. These are all really important. Doing something kind of like, you know, yeah, sticking your, your arms up above your head, you know, like you want something, that victory pose has also been shown to increase testosterone. Now, the testosterone uh, tests done when these things I'm telling you about were tested were saliva tests and there was different percentages and increases in different people. So again, I don't think this is gonna be necessarily the pivotal thing that's gonna change your life, but let's think about it. If you're putting yourself into a positive mindset, a positive physical state, positive emotional state, whatever, just a positive state in general, you're going to be more in tune and more in touch with things that are going on, okay? You're gonna be more goal-oriented, more goal-focused. You're gonna attract more positive things to you. Even the way people are going to receive and interpret you is going to be better, okay? These things are all going to help you at a deep subconscious level, and it's going to help you actually increase your hormone levels and have better hormone production because you're just a happier, more calm person. I know it can kind of sound a little bit simple, but that's how simple and sometimes how delicate this, this topic of hormone optimization can be. If you're walking around ticked off all the time and in a really crappy state where you just you have no confidence and like Eeyore, like why me? I don't know. And you're slumped over. I mean, I know it's kind of comical at times. For some people, it's definitely not comical. But when you do that, do you really think you're going to be optimizing anything in your life? Probably not. So take this to heart, practice it, and do it. It's not going to necessarily change your life, but then again, for some people, it just might. Okay, the other thing that I want to talk about, and we talked about this a little bit before in the beginning, was supplements and herbs. Now, I told you before, I'm not going to recommend any type of certain or specific testosterone boosting supplement. I will throw you out a freebie. I talk about a supplement called Tribulus Terrestris, okay? You can get this at um, online, you can get it in the stores, you know, fitness stores, health stores. Not everybody carries it, and you wanna make sure that when you do get it, you get the right kind, you get the right percentage, you get the right uh, brand, because it's going to make a difference whether it works or not. And by right brand, it's something that's gonna be third-party tested to make sure it's actually what it says it is, and not just a bunch of like cardboard and sawdust and some sort of a vegetable pill. Yeah, it's crappy, some companies actually do that. So if you, again, if you go to that Alpha Mass program, I go into all this stuff in detail. It's all listed out. Or if you just want to go online and do some research yourself, by all means, go for it. So the other thing I want to tell you, though, guys, is having a balanced diet. Now, a balanced diet, okay, right, I get it. I'm always going to be preaching having a balanced diet. A balanced diet can look like different things for different people. A balanced diet for men especially, you want to make sure you're taking in healthy fats. So people who are eating low-carb diets or these low-carb um I'm sorry, low carb diets or low fat diets, they actually can be doing a lot of damage to their testosterone levels and production. Why? Because you need to have a certain amount of healthy fat coming into your system to produce optimal levels of testosterone. You also, you also need to have a certain amount of carbohydrates coming into your system to keep testosterone production up as well. That's why you're really never gonna hear me talk a lot about low carb diets, keto diet. Keto diet is great for people, I think maybe uh, the right person for the right amount of time, but I do not think in my experience, doing it myself and working with several different people, I mean hundreds of people, I don't think it's a sustainable diet. You know, there's just no way people can stay in ketosis all the time. You can argue me on that, totally fine, totally cool, that's okay, just my opinion. But most of the people I talk to, top trainers, coaches in the world, these got guys that I talk to all the time, because we're always trading and exchanging information, most of them will agree with what I'm saying. Some won't, and that's okay, but most will. So, healthy fat, what does it look like? Well, I can tell you at least 20 to 30% of healthy fats, 20 to 30% of your diet should be healthy fats coming in. Wow, Ryan, this seems like a lot. It really isn't. When you look at the food you're eating right now, you know, uh, protein sources, you know, salmon, and, uh, um, steak, and red meat, you know, turkey, chicken, whatever it is, fish, eggs, nuts. There's so many things you can do to get the healthy amount of fat into your system on a pretty consistent and regular basis. The other thing you want to do is make sure you're taking in enough vitamin D. Okay, vitamin D, if you live in a sunny, uh, sunny state, 
Great, you may go outside, you may get enough of it, but for most people, most people are actually vitamin D deficient. So what I see, the typical prescribed doses are between 2,500 and 5,000 IUs. That's what a doctor or prescribe or tell you to start taking as well. I'm not a doctor, so check with your own. But with that being said, making sure you're taking in enough vitamin D is gonna be very supportive with your testosterone levels. Also cholesterol. I'm not saying going out and eat cholesterol, but when you take in this healthy fat and you have vitamin D, vitamin D is actually converted into a steroid hormone in the body. Pretty interesting stuff. I'm not going to go into all the science right now, but all these things work congruently. They work together to give you the most bang for your buck. What I've done in my research, what I've seen in my research is men between uh, 8 and 14% body fat, they are putting their bodies into a prime state to increase and make the most testosterone. Also, when you get enough sleep. When I say get enough sleep, you want six to eight hours on a regular basis. I've been working as a fireman now for almost 18 years, and I can tell you, regular sleep, especially when you add in a dog, a couple of kids, wife, God bless them, I love them, but sleep is not always regular. So you may have to you know, figure out and fit it in when you can get it in. Now, for the college kid or the teenager to someone who's gonna be out partying or just staying up all night playing video games, and you want to sleep in, and you have all day to sleep in because maybe you don't have a job, you just play video games and go work out. Hey, cool, awesome life, not judging. If you sleep more than 10 hours, you start to actually get a detrimental effect in your testosterone levels as well. So, eight hours is gonna be key, six hours minimally, no more than 10 hours, okay? It's like this U-curve effect. So somewhere along that U, depending on how much sleep you get, is gonna have a direct impact on your testosterone levels and your hormone production. And, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be it for that. So you guys, what did we talk about? We talked about natural ways that you can increase your testosterone. So go back to the beginning. We talked about lemon water. We talked about greens and alkalizing your body. We talked about sulfur and vitamin C, things you can do in the morning, things that you may already have lying around the house. Or if you want to go out and buy, you can get them for a couple of dollars. Under $10, it's cheap and inexpensive. Next, we talked about posture and confidence. Yes, it's a real thing. It could change your life if you let it, if you don't always have those things if you already don't have those things going for you now. We also talked about different supplements and herbs, you know, vitamin D, tribulus. We talked about getting enough healthy fat and having a balanced diet, taking a good multivitamin mineral. That's going to be very supportive. Make sure you drink enough water. That's going to be very supportive. All these things, when you do them in this order that I'm talking about, guys, it's going to be a huge support. Let's say that maybe you don't think you have a problem, all right? Let's say that maybe everything's working out well for you right now, but here's the key thing you might be missing. Just because it's going well right now, it's a fact that testosterone production and hormone production is gonna fall off as we age. So the better we prepare and take care of ourselves now, the older we get, the more likely we are setting the stage for success, not just for now, but for years to come. I don't know about you, but I wanna live and look and be as healthy as I possibly can not just for myself, but for my family, and I have goals, and I have dreams, and just things, and just places that I want to do, uh, go, people that I want to help. So that's it, guys. That's it in a nutshell. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't already, please smash that like button, leave me a comment, leave me a review, say hi. Anything you do to comment on, like, or share this will actually help me move higher in the algorithm so I can get this information out to more people. It's free. I'm not charging for it. I just want to make sure I can help as many people as I possibly can give them value something you can walk away with right now and start making a difference and changing your life for the better so you guys thank you so much for spending your time with me until the next video hope you have a wonderful awesome and blessed day and we will talk to you soon peace out guys